breathing in animals. In this module, we will understand about the breathing processes in various animals. Every animal in the nature breathes either through lungs, gills, skin or spiracles. And do you know, mammals like birds and reptiles breathe through their lungs. Lung is an organ of the body that facilitates the breathing process. Now, let us discuss the breathing mechanism in detail. Now, let us understand the breathing process in mammals. Let us take the example of a human being. The breathing process in human beings involves lungs, nose, diaphragm and ribs. And do you know, the process of breathing in air is called inspiration and the process of breathing out air is called expiration. Do you know, when we take in air through the nose, the nose hairs work as a filter protecting the inside of the body from the dust coming alongside the air. The diaphragm in the chest helps in drawing the air. During the breathing process, the ribs move up and diaphragm moves down to facilitate the breathing process. And as the pressure in the lungs decreases, the air rushes into the lungs. Now let us see the breathing process in birds and reptiles. Birds have small holes near their beaks which helps in breathing. Reptiles and birds do not have diaphragm, they only use ribs in their process of breathing. Fish and other animals of water use gills for their breathing process. Gills consist of thread-like structures called filaments. Each filament contains a capillary network that provides a large surface area for exchanging oxygen and carbon dioxide. As the water passes over to the gills, the oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is released to the water. Water is then passed out of the gills through the gill slits. Now let us understand the breathing process through the skin and the spiracles. Frogs have very thin skin which allows the gases to pass through it. When the frog is under water, it uses its skin for the breathing process. When the frog is on the land, it uses its lungs for the breathing process. Now let us understand how organisms like mosquitoes, grasshopper, ant and cockroach breathe. These organisms do not have lungs or gills for the breathing. Their blood does not carry oxygen. They use spiracles for breathing. Spiracles are connected to air tubes called the trachea. Trachea is in turn connected to the smaller tubes. The smaller tubes are in turn connected with the body cells. This assembly of spiracles connected to trachea and then to body cells facilitates the breathing process. We have learned Breathing organs in animals Breathing mechanisms of different animals